Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Her Story. When we last left off, we found out that it was in fact twins. Uh, their parents, or Hannah's parents, probably never found out that she had twins. Um, so, you know, probably trusted to take the mushrooms from what they thought was their daughter, but was in fact, uh, what is the word? It's like a bird. Uh, not a canary. <laughs> There's like the bird that you s they switch their mount with the other bird. Anyway, um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump back in. All right, so last time we were going through our search history and just making sure that we had watched all of the clips that related to that. Um, so let's continue to do that and make sure that we fill in all the spaces that we can. She sent him out the house, kicked him out, called me up crying and I went round. I guess I had a feeling I could hear something was wrong in her voice, but I wasn't sure what it was. She called me sister on the phone. Aww. She never calls me that. Called her sister, um, something, uh, kicked him out, right? else she said um let's see what did I just search call bite that doesn't make sense because I know she says fighting and a lot of stuff oops um weird um bought past tense car Just search the wrong word. Uh, okay, slept in the car. I like how he was trying so hard to get a certain result. Hospital. Eric. Boss. Search Derek again. Eve. Let's see. My mother called me Eve. Yeah. We found Eve. My mother called me Eve. I, I'm. I, it's kind of funny that I just guessed that too. Yeah, I thought I might have missed a couple whenever I was editing last episode, and it looks like I did. Yes, that's my birthday. Not one of the big ones, but I guess you can see that. Birthday. Okay. Yeah, they even have like a different like attitude. Mm. Back eight years back. It was a present to myself. Oh. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. You don't have a baby, Eve. Yes, you can have one cup. No, that's wine. Also, is coffee bad for, I guess, any drug is bad for pregnant women. Uh, coffee, women, pregnant, tattoo, we, we, I also think my method of going through numbers was pretty valid at this point. Also, so you can see here she doesn't have a tattoo. She does have a tattoo. Like, come on guys, you're not even trying. Like, doesn't have a tattoo. Has a tattoo. I guess that's why she was trying to wear, like, long sleeves, but she just gave up. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig. Some of my clothes pretended to be me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said he wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present, another mirror, just like the one he'd given her earlier. 
that unique present. She went crazy, smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. So she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. With the mirror? She'd only meant to scare him off. That was self-defense. He hit her. Broke mirror. Not unique. Present. Disguised. So... Hannah was pretending to be Eve. And he said he wanted to be with both of them, I'm guessing. Also, her story was in this one, too. Uh, presents. Birthday. Breakfast. I don't know why I kept searching the same words. about this tattoo? Oh, my tattoo. <laughs> I got it to express my individuality. It's an apple and a snake. Hmm. Expressing my individuality. Apple and snake express individuality. I mean, obviously, because she had been stuck being somebody else her whole life, basically. So I moved out. Got a small bed set. Got my tattoo to mark the occasion. Oh, eight years ago, wow. I was singing in a bar in the evenings. So I had some money, enough money to cover my rent. And I've been doing something similar ever since. I haven't put down any roots. I don't exist. We don't exist. Um, moved out. Been at bar. So maybe Simon found out that he married the wrong one. And told the wrong one that he wanted he married the wrong one it's pretty fucked up he definitely hit her though that's I mean not worthy of death probably but like you know uh let's see we've already looked up cellar missing look I think I'm going to search bar. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. Why didn't I search twins earlier? <laughs> we had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. Prince and princesses. Uh, main characters, twins, magical, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know why attic it wasn't a very good word to search, because, man, she talks about it a lot. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's another one here. 
we were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real, bizarre and violent. Felt like life. Yeah. We had this huge old book that I think Mum must have bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. Those they were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. Yeah, I used to have a book There was like something that. intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Okay. Rapunzel's hair is cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Hmm. Fairy tales. That's cool. I, I, I remember having a book with cool illustrations, but I think it was a Bible, which is probably why I don't still have it. Um, street. Oxford. Have I already searched all these? I definitely feel like I've searched these words a few times. Diane. Ooh, Diane's with the guitar. Simon and Eric arguing? No, I can't imagine they'd be arguing. And they get on so well. Unless it was something to do with work. Maybe Simon was being too much of a perfectionist. Or he but stole supplies for two mirrors. You should ask Diane. Simon and Eric argue? Interesting. Uh, I think I already watched all of these. Uh, that's the one we just watched. Eric, Diane, dinner. Doug, who the frick's Doug? I don't even remember. Oh, Doug's the dad. Oops. Here we go. This is Eve. Hannah had a miscarriage. This was late in the pregnancy and it left her infertile. Felt like the universe had corrected its course. Oof. We were aligned again. But Hannah and Simon were still living with his parents. They were married. Simon had a job at the Glaciers now. Eric had given him a full-time position after he left school. And then... Hmm. Uh, aligned, um, miscarriage. That's fucked up for her to be like, ah, life was back to normal when my sister had her miscarriage. Like, ah, uh, dude. <laughs> say shit like that. I think it was that time, the first time, at the house, in his bed, that I got pregnant. Amazing, right? This fucking magic spell. And they say lightning doesn't strike twice. I didn't tell him. I missed three periods. I had pretty irregular periods anyway, but three. I had always thought we were infertile. Both of us. I didn't tell him. Just waited. Hannah and I were meeting for our birthday and I told her because I thought she would be happy for us both. I think she was. Damn, he didn't know. Magic sperm. <laughs> uh, first time in his bed. Old Hannah. That's. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I wonder if she thought she was infertile just because her sister was infertile after having a miscarriage. You're reaching here. 
and I don't know why. No, I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. But I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? Good question. You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? Uh. Yeah. I have I not worked with the affair. Rehearsed. You ask me the same question, you'll get the same answer. Is that your evidence? Of course I thought about what happened then. It's all I thought about. My husband is dead. It was verbatim, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was. Except that the inflection was different, which would make sense for somebody that just repeats something over and over in your head. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely guilty of um, repeating actions, mostly future actions. Like, okay, whenever I get up, I'm going to like, you know, brush my teeth and br then do my hair and then I gotta do foundation and then I gotta do this and this and this and this. And without a doubt, every single day, I miss at least one step. Always. No matter what I try. Uh, I, I congratulate myself. Usually I reward myself if I don't miss something, but I almost always miss something. So I can understand repeating actions over and over again, especially if you have like a really big regret. Like I could tell you something that I regret differently and have re doing over and over again to correct said mistake from like 20 years ago so I completely understand like having memorized but f for something so long and for like <sighs> verbatim like that it is a little sus a little sus and now we know why because she's guilty well Hannah's guilty I think maybe I don't know who's guilty at this point I guess Hannah is because Eve wasn't living with them anymore because they moved into Eve killed their parents, I'm guessing, and Hannah and Simon moved into the parents' house, but Simon found out that he was only getting one and wanted both, question mark? I still don't understand Simon's motivations, and I don't know if we will. Ah, here we go, maybe this will help. I was living in the attic. It was a very hard time. I was depressed. I was still pretty sick of the STD. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And I came down one morning. They were dead. They were in bed and both had been sick. They'd thrown up a lot. And I'd slept through it. The police said it was the mushrooms they ate. Dad was a mushroom expert. He used to take us picking with him and he taught us how to recognize them. And there's no way you would have picked death camps. But the police believed that's what happened. They never even looked in the attic. Hmm. Attic again, eh? Um, slept through. So maybe that just blew my theory out of the water. Maybe Hannah's just psychopath and killed everybody. Or this is Hannah and uh, Eve is the one killing everybody. I don't know. I'm still confused. I need to search her story. I just, I'm getting there. Also, it kind of seems like Eve was like, all right, I'm ready to have my own life, you know? I'm going to try this thing out. And Hannah regretted that a little bit. Like, maybe she liked having days off from existing, which totally understand. 
he saw me singing one of my shows pure chance not sure I remember what he was even doing there afterwards I had a drink at the bar and he came over and we got talking I knew who he was obviously I knew who he was but he didn't know who I was he was fascinated by the likeness Mm. he guessed my name from my tattoo (laughs) told me it was a palindrome and that would impress me (laughs) I enjoyed talking to him it was amazing to be able to sit and interact and talk to him after all this time as yourself he didn't tell me he was married I'm not sure what he was thinking but you didn't ask. He later told me it was like he was dreaming. A waking dream. Simon's disgusting. That's what I've just dis- decided. Mm-mm-mm. He was like, hmm, twins? Hell yeah. What about my 2000s teen boy fantasy? I, this is before 2000, but you get my point. Um. <laughs> uh. Met. Simon singing at bar Eve dreaming ah man gross I don't like Simon I'm glad he's dead at this point I'm like hmm he was he was being pretty sketch I don't know this other person doesn't exist I don't know what the blonde wig is but it could be anything have you looked at the cat flap (laughs) cat flap they have a cat also this is the first time I've heard wigs so that's going to be helpful in filling in stuff God, we're not even, like, halfway through this list of search terms. That's when you know you're doing a good job. Uh... I've already searched some of these. (laughs) I've already searched some of these as I go through history. Searched all of these, in fact. Good. Happy. I mean, ups and downs like any couple, I guess, but... We've been married for over 10 years. Good, happy, ups and downs. I always think it's interesting when people are like, we've been married so long, we couldn't murder each other. I'm like, that doesn't matter. In fact, that's more of a motive. You have more reasons to have found ways to hate that person in unique different ways and become so fed up with something that they're doing like I don't know hitting you or wanting to date your sister so if anything the longevity of your relationship is more of a motive and not less of a motive (laughs) I will never understand why they're like we've been married 10 years if I was gonna kill him I would have done it by now it's like no that's not how that works so our sex life is probably fairly average for a couple after 10 years of marriage I will say they got a little, they got a little like in depth into her sex life and stuff. I understand why in the context because they're like, oh, you're two people, but like, it's a bit weird how often they talked about it. I get, I can understand if they thought there was an affair going on, um, but yeah, definitely a little odd. Like, how many men have you slept with in your whole entire life? Please recount from the time you lost your virginity at fifteen until now. It's like. How about no? (laughs) In no context is that any of your goddamn business. (laughs) All right, what's this one? Mom and Dad never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, If they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. 
once she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, she went mad. Get dressed this instant. So I ducked into our bedroom <laughs> and seconds later out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Parents never knew. Damn. They never found out. Well, they probably found out whenever she murdered him. How could you not know me for my sister? You raised me in my death. That's how it went down. I called it here, folks. That's how it went down. Just making sure we've clicked all these things. I'm going to try to skip some of them. I might search 8, because that seems to be when a lot of things happen at once. In 15. Must think it's very cool that their dad is a police detective. Cool. Dad. Detective. That's exactly what they think. Not, man, this really sucks because we'll never get to drink in high school. Um, black no sugar. Thanks. Black no sugar? Who are you? Eve is the true monster. Um. Is that camera recording? Is that camera recording? That's funny. She had already asked that. Then she told me she wanted to help more. She said I should move in with her. She would come clean with Simon about me. I was family, I couldn't have a baby in a bed set. I told her I didn't want to tell Simon. Told her to wait for the time being. Hmm. But she told him. She told him that she was pregnant on her birthday. But he probably knew that it was Eve. Uh. Hmm. She didn't like that Eve was getting to have a family when she couldn't. So she killed Simon? Uh, this is kill. I'm not sure where the dollhouse came from. I don't know if it was given to them or they inherited it. I mean, they wouldn't have had the money to buy it. It was so huge. <laughs> it must have been taken up to the attic in parts and then reassembled up there. Mm. It is a beautiful thing. Wallpaper to scale, little furniture, the lights work, mirrors, beds, big duvets and pillows. We spent hours and hours playing it, we invented all these characters and families who lived there. We wrote paperwork for them all, passports, diaries, we gave them all really elaborate stories. Once, a moth got trapped in there. We'd left a light on. It was making the most horrendous noise. We tried to kill it, but it was tough. We ended up crushing it under a copy of the Arabian Nights. Uh, uh, attic, doll, house, moth. Man, I wanted a cool dollhouse like that the whole time I was growing up. We never had the money for it. But it was always my dream that, like, if I ha were to have children and I had a girl, which is not going to happen, but if I had a girl, I was going to get this little big giant dollhouse and do all the cool stuff. But uh, my sister had to have a boy, unfortunately. 
And trust me, I tried. He does not give a shit about a dollhouse. He's like, I can't book cars in that. I don't care. It's like I told you before. I drove. I took the car and drove. I don't have my own car, but I have a spare set of keys. I just drove north. I wanted to think for some space between me and them. Everything I told you before is true. I stopped at Glasgow. I was tired, exhausted. I pulled out and I hit a car. My car was okay, but I was worried about the baby, so I went to A&E to get the okay. Everything was fine. I slept in the car. When I woke, I tried to call Hannah from a payphone. She wasn't answering. And then I decided to drive back. Because she was in the shower. I had decided that she was more important to me than Simon. like an emergency room and there oh that was oh no that's not the last one we haven't gotten to the last one yet pregnant pregnorante i think we watched all the carls and the rules and the diary and the Florence and diary name Sarah. I think I'm gonna look up wig next. Also, it's Eve that didn't want to name her kid a palindrome. It's interesting. the same list again because so I feel like okay I want to search wig a wig you mean but what type of wig um the wig that your sister always wore no I've never worn a wig what kind of wig? You already asked that. She wanted to know if it was a blonde wig. Um, bar, is that something I've searched? It is not. Nothing else happened that night. We talked, then I said goodbye. Then next week I was sitting in the bar again and there he was. Mm. And again the next week, he offered to buy me a meal. I told them I had already eaten, um, and so we got chips and ate them on the beach instead. When we said goodbye, he asked me to kiss him. <laughs> Romantic. Because he always liked blondes, and she was a blonde version of his wife. Disgusting. Uh... Yes. He always preferred blondes. <laughs> so here's now my vision of Simon. He sleeps with a girl in high school, accidentally gets her knocked up, and is forced to marry her. But he's really into blondes, and he's like, oh, whatever, it sucks. This is my wife now, I'll deal with it. But then, ten years later, he meets a blonde version of his wife, identical in every way. And that's what he wants instead or both if you can have both what nice guy my ass no. i told her it was one of my boyfriends someone i had met in the bar i think she was happy she didn't know whose baby it I was tell. she was thinking why couldn't it happen to her and simon they were the ones with the real life why not them Okay, um, 
Let's see, what do we have to search? So now we know the true story of how Simon knocked up his sister without even knowing that she had, he had already dated her. Um, have you ever started seeing? Oh, let's go back to beach. Okay, chips. No. What do we want to know about? I don't think I ever searched a fair. An affair? Simon wasn't having an affair. Mm, I think he was. <laughs> Actually, in his eyes, he was. Uh. Um, yikes. Move in. Yes. The legal stuff was completed very quickly. Hand moved back in with Simon. Eric gave Simon the week off to help with the move. He decorated, modernized wallpaper curtains. Hannah insists the attic be left as it was, dollhouse and all. Simon never went up there. Hmm. Moved into parents' house, the dollhouse, and attic. Uh, when she went home, Simon had a birthday tea waiting. Afterwards, she told Simon about me, told him I was pregnant. She wanted me to move in with them, this sister he didn't know she had. But he did. She knew that instant. The look on his face. She... Yeah, she knew that he did know. Sister, move in. Told Simon. Uh. Actually, I wanted to search like come clean. No. This one's a gross one, but like, okay. I didn't know if she talked about it anymore. Um. They found glass in his throat. Uh, smashed. Can I just do... Broke. Uh... I want to know how she broke the mirror. Shard. Glass. I think I've already searched this. Um, let's see, what's other words that she uses a lot? Oh, I never even got around to searching her story. Hmm. She says it in three, three clips. Fairy tale. Oh, that brought up a little more I thought it was going to. Sorry. Sorry. The picture, the way it's drawn, just reminded me of the books we used to read as children. Mm -hmm. I read those fairy tales over and over, and they were so real to me. Rapunzel was my favourite. My brain is just full of it. I mean, you're using colour. Fairy tales, Rapunzel, blah, blah, blah. I actually learned how to spell Rapunzel through this game. Simon never cheated on me. He was devoted to me, and I was devoted to him. Mm. Nothing in life is easy. 
we were good to each other. Life isn't a fairy tale. Aww. You do what you can. Devoted. Life isn't a fairy tale. So true. Well, she wasn't my real mother, but she raised me. Do you want to hear the story? It's a real life fairy tale. <sighs> Florence. Not real mother, real life fairy tale. I mean, it kind of was, honestly. It's fucked up as it is. Fairy tales. Stories about lost princesses, evil witches, magical mirrors, and lost children. Hmm. So you see, even before I knew the truth, I'd found it in those stories. Fairy tale truths. Interesting. Interesting. Um... Have I searched this? No, I haven't. You have children. You have children. Oh, I have a really like scummy way of looking. Okay, <laughs> that's a pretty good one though. Like, <laughs> just search period. <laughs> if I hadn't first already read or watched the first five clips, that probably have worked. Um, t -t 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 Can I go? Ah, here we go. I figure that's something that you would say in an interview, right? Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something, ran out of something, had to grab something. I sometimes drive too far. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Drive too fast. Drive. Fast. Just any word. Uh, something. Anything. <laughs> Please. Oh, it worked. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Oh, shit. It's all late for that. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other. Just that. Stories. Oh, shit, dude. That's a trump card right there. Uh, stories. No murder weapon. Maybe spell the word right, whatever. It's okay. Sounds weird. I'm mean, not great at making up stories. Huh, this must have been like a psychology test to see if it was a mental thing. Yes. I read a lot as a child and watched lots of TV. Then the doll's house we had, we still have in the attic. It's kind of a fairy castle. We used to play out there and make up our own stories. She does say we a lot. Um, which is probably how it tipped him off, but... Uh... Read is probably a good one. Nope. Uh, I've searched dollhouse, I'm pretty sure. An attic. Um, God, there's so few left. I just want to get to the 75%. Oh, God, we're already out of time. I, one more, one more random word. Let's go with stop. <laughs> it worked. We loved our cat, Domino. Domino. 
Um, he had this little bell around they do have his a neck cat. to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell, and we could send them to each other. Aww. Mum found some of the notes once, and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. And we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. That's cute. Domino, cat, notes, and bell on collar. That's cute. I wonder what happened to Domino. We're going to find out that. I'm going to type it in now because I won't remember. <laughs> We're going to find that out next time. Uh, we I probably won't be able to finish next time. I do have a way of finding it if we just run out of words to search for. Um... I do have a way of just going through and getting the rest of them, but I'm holding out to the last one. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys back here next time.